control the fight. You know, my, I thought my wrestling was a little better. You know, I thought, you know, I thought I, I took it down more. So even if the, the point got deducted, I thought, you know, I thought wrestling counted. Yes, sir. I guess, I guess, I guess wrestling didn't count. So you were thinking it was probably like 30, 27 before the point. You know, I didn't care what it was. I know it was <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it went. We were taking the guy down. I thought I was controlling the fight. I thought that was the name of the game. I'm not tonight. So what do you, what do you think of next? Get back in the ring, man. Yeah, I'm not hurt. You know, I, you know, I got I got a bump in the eye, but but I'm physically, yeah, I'm physically fine. I, I, I've always been fortunate to be uh, to, to be physically all right. You know, I got no bump. I get that in the gym. So is there anybody in particular that you kind of have your eyes set on? You I don't care who they, I don't care who they put in front of me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just, just have a bit more time to prepare. I I, I prepare for one guy. You know, and he, he, and he ended up not being here. So uh, they had to prepare for another guy. He ended up not being here. So I had another guy. So I I, I, I think I show people that uh, I don't care who it is. You put them in front of me and, we, and let's go. You know, that that, that, to me, that's more important. Man. Let's, let's, let's stop all the all the BS and let's go. So, and, but, uh, but more, most importantly, hey, Virgil, yes, sir. come over here. Come on real quick. See, because we have we have got a couple points to these people. So, but here, here's, the, here's the point that we want to make, and especially out to, to, the, to the people that are out there that are not understanding MMA. And see, now we, we, we showed that we just showed the world that we, we're gentlemen about the sport. It's about the sport, and it's about the sportsmanship. You know, we're not, we're not boots. We both have families. We, you know, we, he, he, he coaches football. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I, I work with kids. So, you know, this, this is a job. This is our job. But we just happen to love this job. Yeah. So, so we, we went out there and showed we had we had a good battle. We showed we showed sportsmanship and we went out there and did it. Yeah. And, uh, it's all about more, more, more importantly, it's you know it's, it's for those that are growing up and the kids that are looking at us and think that it's not okay to be tough. You know, it's it, it, it's about channeling our angers and everything else in a professional manner to where we can conduct ourselves as a professional and be. I mean, I, I love this guy. He's corn husker. I've always been a big fan of his. I'm pretty sure he's been a fan of mine. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, what yeah. We just put through. I mean. Uh, uh, there's no ill will, no nothing. I, I, I love this. this. This is why I did this sport because exactly. the person where I come from and all the prison, everything I went through, it's, it's, that's what put me in prison, being ugly, being angry. And MMA has changed my heart and changed me around to be able to be somebody who, who, could, who could be a pillar in this community and be looked up upon and have you know kids and, and youth look up at me like I'm, like I'm somebody. So. And on that note, I would like to commend both of you, you know, because it is nice to see two fighters standing next to each other, you know, yeah, thanking each other, you know, for, for their support and things like that. Yeah, that means a lot. You know, I have four kids, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in bullying, as you can see, you know, we, we support anti-bullying campaigns and things yeah. like that, you know, so for the two of you to sit up next to each other, you know, and say, hey, but, but this, we can again, this, what, this is what it's all about. We got a job to do. We did our job. Now, now it's back to it's back to being cool. So yeah, for sure. And, and it's never. And we gave them the crowd what they wanted. Yeah, you put on a show, and and and, and for me, I, I loved it. You know, it was it was a great. It was exciting. For me, I took it on six, seven days. No, that, 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 that damn floor was just slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I'm probably here from Wilson. I'm probably gonna slip, but for me, it was a, a great opportunity and an honor to be able to fight Houston Alexander inside that ring. I appreciate and, it. Uh, it's what we do, you know. Yeah, get up, yeah, shake exactly. each other's hand, and, and commend each other for getting in there because it takes it takes a lot to be able to just get up and go in there. And you know, for me, I traveled across to leave my kids at home, everything. All he, you know, single father with eight kids, who we lay it on the line. Everything we do, this is a business, so we have to conduct ourselves. Conduct professional. We we, we we manage our our fatherhoods, our jobs, our training, and then we come in here and lay it on the line. And it's fun, man. It's great. Great, great way of, uh, of living life. Place for the place for the too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> That's all, but it's all good. Any other questions, Yeah, question, yeah. yeah Alexander, you mentioned that originally you were training for James the Colossus Thompson, so yeah. do you still want that fight now? Yeah, no, like I said, I, mean, I don't care who I fight. <laughs> I don't care who I fight. It's not, it's not a big deal. That's what we do. Oh, uh, no, let me think about the other opponent. Oh, okay. The other opponent, my fact, the fact of the matter is that whoever they put in front of us, we have to fight. I would. You're not doing it. Well, are you done? No, we're not done. You, you, you need to take a picture of the That's what social media is, right? Not the guys out, take the pictures. There you are. So it was, the fight was at a catch weight of 215, and, and Virgil, you came in right at 215. Houston, you came in at 206.4. Did you think about getting a little heavier for the fight, or were you still trying to be light anyway? I was, I, was, I, don't, I don't care. As a matter of fact, 
I think it's, it's the smaller guys that are hard to fight. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, 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 I'm pretty, pretty natural in my way. So I'm still pretty strong. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lisa, how much do you think you got left in you? I'm not good. Do I look physically hurt now? Besides the bump, besides the bump in my head. Large I'm still cool. You know what I'm saying? I still stay, I stay in shape, and I'll, I'll be in the gym tomorrow. You know, that's, that's what I do. I'm in the gym. With a hard hit. <laughs> I got a hard hit. Thanks, Houston. You guys did good about it. What you guys doing? Whatever. Just chilling. And then we, we're going to, to, to whiskey, whiskey Tango. We're going, we're going to Tango later on. So, so let me know. So, you got my number text me? And uh, I'm still not still get, get your number, man. They said like, it's like it didn't get through. Hey, Virgil, are you actually a Husker fan? Born and raised. I was born, born in Big Red. I was born in Beatrice, Nebraska. So, uh, uh, by my language, I'm Hunt the Paul, which is a part Husker. Ask him when we gave them the hat. Yeah. Yeah, the big, big Houston gave me this one, so uh, definitely blessed and honored. But I've always been a diehard uh, Nebraska Cornhusker fan. Still will be all day long, even though uh, 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 Iowa technically that was booing me, so I'm not going to blame the Cornhusker fans. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But, yes, definitely. Go, go, uh, Big Red. We're going to beat Northwestern tomorrow. That's just right. what I was going to ask you. Was what you thought the score would be? <laughs> two, two for one. We're going to rebound. We're going to get 42-28 Nebraska. Nice. Tommy Frazier Jr. is going to run it up. Okay. Thanks, boys. Thank you, guys.